Hi guys, how are you guys doing today? Good morning. I'm so excited to give you guys the word. This is a very specific word as in like it's really specific and here's the thing, you know, it can mean a couple of things. However, I know that, you know, when God shows me something specific, I have to pay attention to like specific details so therefore I can properly interpret what he's trying to show me okay but this was not a dream this was actually a vision guys when I tell you guys every night before you go to bed it's so important to pray to God and ask God like listen Holy Spirit if there's anything that I'm doing wrong if there's anything that you're not too fond of if there's anything I have to repent about please let me know and I'm the reason I'm telling you guys to pray this prayer every single night is so that God can show you because you know, the devil will always try to bring paranoia in you and always make you feel like you're doing something wrong, even when you're not. So it's always good to include this in your prayer. Therefore, you are checking in with God every night relating to your behavior, your thoughts, your heart, just to ensure that things are on the right path. Okay, that's that's a whole nother video because I'm going to talk about something pertaining to this. But anyways, this particular word, oh my goodness, I prayed last night and I said, God, you know, I want to help people and I understand I encourage people when I'm supposed to and you give me encouraging words for them however I I want to also be very specific on certain people's details because I want to be able to help people so they're not wondering is this word for me is this word not for me I want to be so specific that whoever it's for will understand that it's nothing but you they will understand that this is indeed their message this is indeed their word right so I was praying this last time like God if there's anything you want anyone to know and it's a according to your will that I'm the one that delivers it please let me know my goodness when I tell y'all the amount of visions that were flying in before I was even able to doze off in a sleep it was to the point where I was chuckling like for a good couple hours I was smiling you know because the amount of things I was seeing was so positive and so amazing and I just want to say something whoever you are this king is coming home okay I don't know if this is, here's the thing, I don't know if this is someone's, obviously it's someone's son, but I don't know if this is someone like a mother who's waiting for her child to come home, or if this is like a wife waiting for, for her husband to come home, but let me tell you something, I just want to say this king is coming home, and I did not plan to wear this outfit today, this army looking outfit, God is my witness, it was not part of my plan, it was one of those things where I was in a rush to get ready, and I just grabbed whatever was in my closet, and I'm like, hey, if I'm wearing this shirt, I might as well wear the hat, right? But let me tell you what I saw in the vision. I saw this young man. This is a, um, uh, what's it called? This is a black gentleman. I saw this young man. He looks like he's about like either late twenties up until like maybe mid forties. Okay. Um, he doesn't really look like he's in his mid forties, but I'm just giving that age range. You know what I mean? Just in case. Cause some people look younger than their age, you know? So it's not really a good idea to put age on certain things but let me tell you something oh my goodness so I just saw this man and he was walking and he had this army outfit on like <laughs> this army outfit and the way he was walking it's like he was walking towards a woman and the woman she looks young that's why I said it may not be like a mother waiting for her son to come home um it could be but you may you may be the mother watching this and you know who this young lady is or you may be the young lady you know who the mom is right but I saw a young lady as in like someone that's not older than probably like 38 you know what I mean like this woman saw him and she ran up to him she gave him a big hug what I mean this man was smiling from ear to ear big old kool-aid smile okay white teeth <laughs> He was so happy to see you. It's like he walked up to you with this big smile on his face. And he was like this with his head. Like he was about to cry, but he's fighting, not crying. And you, the way you hugged him was like, oh my gosh, you're finally home. You're finally home. Oh my goodness. <gasps> the reason why I'm saying this is because like a few visions after, I heard the Lord say dismiss, dismissal. But I didn't know what that was. I didn't know what that pertained to. I, I'm thinking maybe it's a different word related to like someone's case or something being dismissed, which I still have to record. But this could resonate with this. I'm, I'm only saying this, that it's possible this is resonating with this because someone's coming home. But this guy had a whole army outfit on. And, you know, you like the way you hugged him was like you were praying that he would come home. 
the way he was hugging you, it's like he's so relieved to be home. This is a reconciliation of someone's partner, okay? The woman was not his mom. For sure, that was not his mom. But like I said, you could be a mother watching this and you just may know of his wife or may know of his future wife, right? So I'm just, I have to just put that in there. But I'm telling you right now, your king is coming home. Like, he is not going back, He's not going back. Like, he's he's home from the army. He's home from the army. The reason why I said this word may go in particular ways is because, you know, the army outfit can literally just mean, like, the warfare that you guys were fighting. The warfare is over kind of thing, right? The war is over. Like he was probably fighting the most warfare. You know how a kingdom marriage is? One person will fight. So both parties will fight, you know, a good amount of warfare, but sometimes one person's fighting a lot more battles than the other person. So that could be it. But, but here's the thing, um, you know, when God is specific like that with like details in a vision and this is not a dream, it's a vision. So when God is detailed like that in visions, then you know that, okay, like this is, it was so clear as day when I mean, I, God is my witness. I literally started to like tear up a little bit when I saw, I screamed, my eyes are closed and I screamed. I'm like, oh my God. And then I started to tear up and then I grabbed my phone and just wrote everything down. I'm like, God, thank you for letting me see that. Like, I can't, I can't even explain to you the joy that I feel for you right now. Like, you have no idea. God bless you and your union, your marriage. Like, God bless you. Like, I had to pray, like, Holy Spirit, just cover this union, cover this marriage in the name of Jesus. And I just pray that this reconciliation is smooth, Lord God, and that no weapons formed against this couple will prosper in the name of Jesus. Every tongue and every demonic chant that has been said about these couple, I pray that those tongues shall condemn in the name of Jesus. Like, God bless your union. God bless your marriage. I just want to say that brought me so much joy last night. It was to the point where I didn't even go to bed. I'm like, God, I'm ready for the next visions because I ain't going to sleep tonight. Like, (laughs) Okay, so congratulations. Your king is coming home. Okay, your king is coming home. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.